This question is from the October 2020 USSAT calculator section. College Board gives us a table of values and they say if a male is selected, what is the probability that that male is a Malamute? When you're finding probabilities from a table, I like to write the probability equals some numerator over some denominator. And this just helps me to organize my thoughts because it's easy to mess up probabilities from a table. I always find the denominator first. The denominator is all individuals that we might have chosen as described in the question. They say if a male dog that received the vaccine during the month of July is selected at random. So all the male dogs would be this column for males. That would be 6 plus 4 is 10 male dogs. And that's our denominator. Once you have your denominator, among those de individuals that counted toward the denominator, the question is, which ones are we counting as a success for our probability? What is the probability that the dog is Malamute? So the Malamutes among those that are male is six. We don't count the two female Malamutes over here because we're only interested in the individuals that counted toward our denominator. So there are six Malamutes out of the ten males. So that is 0.6, which is choice C. When College Board asks for probabilities from a table, they may want one or more rows, one or more columns, or the entire table, and you have to read the question very carefully to make sure your answer is the answer to their question. Come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.